Hello YouTube, uh, back again with a uh, quick look and a bit of a gameplay talk of a classic Sega Mega Drive game, Cannon Fodder, released in 1994 by Sensible Software, who are responsible for Sensible Soccer and Megalomania on the Mega Drive. It's a classic Amiga conversion that is better on the Amiga, but when I was a spotty teenager in 1994, I didn't have an Amiga, so I played it on the Sega Mega Drive. So, after we've listened to this amazing music, we shall have a look at the game. The game was published by uh, Virgin Interactive at the time, we were a massive publisher for the Sega Mega Drive. They uh, published quite a lot of games like uh, Cool Spot, Earthworm Jim, a lot of the Disney games like Aladdin, and uh, many other successful games. So they did some good work there. So this is the start screen. Basically, you'll see Home and Away. Uh, home is how many soldiers you've got left and away is how many you've killed so uh, we'll start off with two here, Jules and Jobs are actually names of the uh, developers of the game, at least the first few are so here we go, mission one, the sensible initiation it starts off pretty simple but it gets more complicated later on now uh, you control the cursor with the directional pad, press A to move your soldiers, and B, change the cursor to the crosshair symbol, and uh, just aim at the people you want to kill. As I say, it starts off fairly simple. As you play through and don't kill your soldiers, they uh, rank up, also becoming heroes in victories. You know, to become sergeants and lieutenants. Usually, I kill them long before they have a chance to become anything like that. So that's free, free at the minute. All the virgin soldiers. The classic ridge over the river pie. Bit more open this level. You can sometimes get stuck on the geometry, but it's not too bad. This game's actually compatible with the Sega Mouse, so I haven't got one, I've never tried it, but uh, I suspect it would probably make the game a little bit easier to play. All the same, it's not, it's no difficulty. Later on you do get different landscapes like snow and desert uh, and you also get tanks and helicopters and but later on it becomes a lot more difficult and a lot more strategic. You can't just run and go with your entire squad like I do at the moment. We're going to introduce uh, the grenades on this level, and uh, I'll show you how well you have to destroy an enemy base. Fairly simple to start. Now, if you do go in the water, at a certain point, like, well, you can't actually fire, so you are in quite a lot of danger if you go long distances over the water so it is best to try and go on the land if you can later on it becomes worse because the enemies start having RPGs and grenades and then you really have to think about what you're doing You 
you can continue to torture the soldiers if you please. Rape and pilgrimage them if you like. But uh, it's a bit unnecessary. Now we're coming up to the base here. We've got a couple of options really. You can just go in gung ho or you can separate your squad. So I'll press the A button on my man there and press the symbol there. Now I should just be in control of one man, like I am, which makes it a bit safer to try and grab the grenades, which I have done. I'm going to look at the judgment. Oh, oh, oh. So this is the grenade door. That's the base done with. It wasn't out the door falls on. I'm going to be a couple of guys hiding up there. No. Seven new recruits. So we're going to the snow now. This is when the game does get a lot more difficult. The problem you have on this level is you don't have any grenades to start off with to blow these uh, houses up. So obviously, we've got to go for some. Uh, oops, we built the house, had most of the domains. It wasn't the actual plan, but there we go. A bit of trouble on this edge here. Oh, we have lost the man. Oh no. Attack from all angles, just gonna hope. Blow the door up, we have to. Might as well get the rest of those grenades. Just these top houses, which may or may not be able to destroy from here. I can't quite remember. That's one house down. Be someone firing at us. Okay. A lot of action over here, riding all out the wall. That's it. Mission complete, unfortunately, one casualty. So, lost in service. I believe the Red Cross actually complained about this game because it had the poppy symbol on the uh, title screen and where you've just seen it there. Obviously they didn't get it completely banned. Seventy-nine recruits, one casualty. So we're back to uh Forest level here. This is phase one of four, so the levels do get where there's there's multiple parts to them. I think we'll have time to. So we'll just have a look at the map here. You can surrender as well if you were to wish. That doesn't seem to make anything any more clearer. So we'll just carry on. It's been a long time since I've really played this game, but uh, I would definitely recommend getting it. Although, there we go, I've come to the place again, I've got no grenades. That sand is actually sinking sand, if you go in there you can die. That doesn't look like a good way to go. Where is he? 
It's not risky business going across there. Oh dear, I see we can't fire, we're in the water. Luckily he's followed us. Hopefully he's not going to be able to fire. No, that was lucky. In here, stuck behind a tree. There we go. So let's hold behind there. Hold behind us. Oh. Don't block the grenades, we're in need of those. We've got the grenades. We're in there. That's it. The door's come off. Unfortunately, seems like we're going to be stranded over here. It's often quite tricky to get the door to come off. You think you've done it, but you've actually not gone off. So yeah, and then once the door's off, no one's coming back out of it. Well, this could be suicidal. Can't actually shoot those birds if they are birds. I've tried on many occasions, but to no success. As far as I know, there should just be that little base. I stumbled across earlier. Should be here. You never stand in front of the doorway, although he said that. This is often the annoying part, you're looking for one soldier now who's somewhere and until we kill him we can't continue. Where are you Mr. Annoying Soldier? There he is. Oh, there's multiples again hanging in the woods. Oh, well, there's some more around there. Never ending. Oh, there must be another house down there. Oh no! Oh! Well, absolute casualty there at the end. Scrape through, but I think we'll leave it there. But, uh, there you go, that's how easy it is to die. But a great game, I'd definitely recommend picking it up if you haven't, don't, haven't got it already. Alright, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Hope you'll upload some more videos soon. I just watch the demise of my crew as they get slaughtered. Oh. Thank you for watching.